Knowledge family. How everybody doing today? Let's talk about what happened in Yonkers, New York. And let's also talk about Sesame Place. Okay, so Yonkers, New York, we're going to talk about that first. And then we want to talk about Sesame Place, okay? Uh, this Sesame Place uh, is doing a little mistreatment to little black children, okay? So, but first let's get on to what happened in Yonkers, New York. Um, there was a girl and it's P Styles who is a you know he's a rapper but he also is running like a um, smoothie spot or whatever and he came out I think it's a smoothie spot slash probably like a little restaurant eatery place or something like that okay but he came out of his smoothie shop because it was a big commotion between the police and a young black lady okay so this is how it went family okay it was a young lady she was on her way to uh deliver uber eats she worked for uber eats she was on her way to deliver something and the police in yonkers new york got behind her they stopped her and then they slammed her on the ground okay now that is the first video so we got two videos of this incident and I'm going to show you all today please hit like and subscribe please if you haven't already please please click the like button it's free help your girl out just click like and subscribe if you are not a subscriber already thank you to all my new subscribers our new subscribers love y'all appreciate it Thank you to all the viewers as well. And please hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. But anyway, so she's on this moped family. And the police pulls her over on this moped. And they say that uh, she was driving recklessly and dangerously on the sidewalk. Okay. And so they, they stop her. And then the first video shows them slamming her on the ground and putting the handcuffs on her that's when styles p uh because i might have said his name wrong at first p styles no it's styles p okay correction on that sorry styles p okay uh but he came out because he heard the commotion and he literally started arguing with the police because he didn't like the way they slammed her on the ground and the way they had her on the ground okay and that's that started one police officer get up and then styles p started going back and forth at it with the police verbally about how they was handling this young black lady okay in yonkers new york okay so now he got pretty heated at the way they treated this this lady and it's understandable and i'm glad that this brother style p came out to see what was going on with this incident okay now i want to say this right here youngsters y'all need to pay attention to what's going on out here on these streets okay when you're dealing with the police and everything else and we're gonna get into that most definitely okay but I want y'all to see this first video and then we'll go into the second video and then I want to get into this whole thing because we're gonna hear also what P Styles had to say about this incident okay so y'all hang in there please Look at this video all the way out because it's, this is a great topic today. We're talking about this one that happened in Yonkers, New York, and we're going to get on Sesame Place, okay? So check out what happened in Yonkers, New York, and we're going to talk about this because I really have a lot to say about this incident right here. Because if Style P hadn't came out, 
um, you know, you just never know what would have happened. And I'm, I'm, I'm really going to show people why I said this and my take on this whole incident here. But check out this right here. And then we'll get into all of this. So, hold on, family. Because, I, I mean, I, I really was tripping off this whole doggone thing, okay? I really was. Okay, so now, here it goes. Um, check this out. And this is the first video, family. This is the first video of the incident that happened. Okay, and it will kick in. There it go. Now you see how they slammed her on the ground there. Now that's style P coming out. Now it's sideways, it was recorded like that. Check it out, family. Okay, family, right here. I want to stop right there. Because, you see, I'm going to talk more about this too. But you see how when Styles P came out, family, how that other police officer got up off the girl and started blocking Style P. So he couldn't get physically involved in, in in the thing where he couldn't get close to the girl, to the black chick who's on the ground. So this lets me know, family, because see, and Jay pay attention to a lot of things. If you can get up off this woman and stand in front of peace, I mean, stand in front of Styles P. I don't know why I keep saying that. But if you can get up off this woman, and stand in the front of Styles P. That lets me know that it didn't take two of y'all anyway. Check it out, family. Because, see, that one police officer is handling her by himself anyway. Which he could have did in the beginning anyway. Okay? So that shows you, it shows me unnecessary force. Because... If he had a got up off the girl to stand in front of Styles P and the other officer would have been still struggling or she was she can get away from him or she uh roughing him up and he can't really handle her, then you would say, Oh well, two people, two officers was needed. But in this case, we see him get smoothed up and wants to try to stand in front of Styles P. And then we see that the other one is handling the black chick just fine by himself. So it didn't take two of them. Okay? So let's proceed. Okay? Now, that's, uh, I just want to show, um, this part one more time a little bit. Um, 
Let me just take that back. And then I'll show you that. But check this out. See? You see how the other one is handling the chick just fine. Okay, so now, this right here family is Styles P. And he did a video after this whole incident. And he did this video talking to people on his social media. And so I really did want us to listen to what he had to say. Because what he had to say, a lot of it was very deep. And something that everybody really do need to hear. So check out what he's what he is saying, family. This is him talking after the incident. He's telling everybody how he felt at the time, what was going through his mind at the time, and just what made him go out there like that when he saw those police officers with that girl. Okay? Now And now, family, I do want to say this. You see how he came right on there and say, hey, look, how I handled that was kind of wrong. And he wants to let young black men, young black women, and all black men and black women, and the youngsters too, that he was wrong and don't handle the situation like that. The same way I was saying that Boosie, in the last video I did, the same way I said Boosie should have said the same thing. Don't be making these kids think that they can do this type of thing and you know that it might not turn out that way for them. Okay? So I'm just glad that this brother, and I got to give this brother his flowers, that he did come back and just said... Hey, y'all, don't do it like I did it. I mean, still record, still still get everything on film and everything, but don't take it to the extreme that he did, okay? Now, check out what he's saying, family.
Exactly. I love what he said right there. It need to be cops in a urban neighborhood, black neighborhoods, and black communities and things like that. Don't need to put all white cops in that community because they really don't know the culture of how black people are. You know, two black people could be just talking just fine, fine but they loud as hell. You know, they be like, uh-uh, yeah, uh-uh, I saw that movie too. Nah, nah, I'm telling you, that was the good part. Nah, nah, this was the good part right here. Well, it may sound like they are, but they're not. They're really just having a conversation. Now, if a police roll up, might think they arguing. They trying to tell the police, no, we're just talking. We're not arguing. But the police still is going, some of them, and especially the prejudiced ones, going to make something out of nothing. That That's why we need, in black communities, half and half. Half of that force, blacks, half of that force, white. That way... Everybody know on that police department how to deal with each other culture. Not saying that just all blacks need to be in a black community. All black police need to be in a black community. And all white police need to be in a white community and other uh, race of communities. No, we're saying mix it up. Have a black and a white cop patrol together in all communities, no matter what race the communities are or the majority of the race the communities are. That's all. Okay. agree what he said there we need more of our children black children to apply to be a police officer that way they can be a part of policing their community they have a better understanding of our community they know they can pinpoint kind of 
Oh, uh, this don't look right. Oh, nah, they, 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 they chilling. They all right. They this, they that. If we had more of our black children applying to be police officers, they can contribute to making things better inside of the police department. So I appreciate that brother saying that. And let's listen to him a little bit more. And he's almost finished. He's almost finished. Okay, now family, this is the second after the police department got a lot of heat for that first video that everybody saw for slamming that girl on the ground and having that excessive force like that. And so with Styles P also being very well known they started investigating the matter real quick, okay? Now they want to investigate the police because they had so many emails, phone calls, texts, social media posts, everything clowning this Yonkers Police Department who these police officers belong to, clowning about how they treated this black woman when they slammed her on this ground. Okay, and so then the police released a body cam footage of the entire incident. So this is the second videotape where they go, they showing what, how it started and what happened and why they had to slam her on the ground like that. Okay, so now check this out, family. This is the second tape that the police department released. Okay, so here it is.
Mm. Okay, so you see she took off running. Yellow too. Uh -oh. It may appear to somebody that they were using too much force, but when you take somebody to the ground, it's a way to control that person safely. Okay, family. Okay. So, anyway, y'all see that they released the body cam just about a couple of days after Styles P put it all on the internet. Okay, and when everybody got wind of this here story. Okay, now, they sure did release that tape pretty quick though, didn't the family? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, so they released that tape within a week of this incident. Okay, and I do want to talk about that. Uh, but Styles P. Thank you, brother, for coming out there and saying a lot of that stuff that you said and taking accountability and talking to everyone about this type of situation, okay? But MJ ain't finna be so nice about this situation. Let me go ahead uh, and say this right quick so we can get on into Sesame Place, okay? Okay, now, I am glad that Styles P was there because... If you look at it, he stopped one police officer from putting more pressure on this young black lady, okay? Because we clearly see, and I showed y'all, that she could have been handled with just one police. It did not take two police officers to handle that woman. And I don't know if y'all heard it, but Styles P. did tell that officer when he was arguing with him and was saying, you know, like, oh, you, you a punk. You, you wrong for that. You this, you that, that, that. He told the police, I saw you. Soon as you slammed her on the ground, you put your hand on your gun. And Styles P said that when he, when that police, when they slammed that girl to the ground, that one right there that he was uh, going back and forth with, did put his hands on his gun when he had that girl down there on the ground, okay? But when Styles P intervened with running his mouth and calling that police officer all kind of names, and now the police officer gets up, then he takes his hand off his gun, but now he's just going back and forth at it with Styles P. So that clearly shows that Styles P coming out there did help a hell of a lot. It helped get one of those police officers off of her, which was not needed. We clearly proved that. And it also helped from stop having pressure on her, because she's not a big girl. It helped relieve pressure off of that girl by removing one of those police to interact with Styles P. And it also shows 
that Styles P said he had his hand on his gun. So if Styles P hadn't arrived, was he going to use that gun? Because why did you put your hand on your gun when she was already slammed down? So I thank you, Styles P, brother, uh, for doing that. For doing that. And I, I, I just want to say thank you. I don't know if that girl said thank you or not, but I'm going to get into that in a few doggone minutes with that. Definitely. But do you see how quickly that police department released that body cam? Uh-huh. Yeah, they released it real quick, which shows us that body cam footage can be released early. See, some events... They try to hold on to it for five months, six months to a year and all that. And then say they can't release it and all that. But then they release this one here within the week of this incident happening. Okay. Now, I wonder if, if they had felt like the police was wrong, would they have released that footage that quick? Uh-huh. But now that we know that every uh, footage can be released that quick, we need for them to keep that same damn energy for every incident every incident that happened because we see now it could be released within a week time of an incident happen uh-huh now they charged this here lady with dangerous driving reckless driving said she was resisting arrest and said that her moped was unregistered and they gave her numerous of summons, okay? And people say, what is summons? If people don't know what a summons is, let me uh, go over what a summons is right quick, okay? Because they gave her, that's what they said on the news now. Y'all heard them say she got a numerous of summons, okay? So a summons is when it's used for a person who may or may not be processed. But before release, they are required to sign the charges documented, promising to appear in court without a bond to ensure their appearance. Police and prosecutors will often use summons rather than arrest a person they believe will appear in court and who poses no immediate threat to the public. Okay, so that's what a summons is. So they say she got numerous of summons, okay? That what they say. Now, let me talk to the girl right quick. I want to talk to you, young lady. Yes, I do. NJ needs to talk to you because I'm trying to figure out why was you running from them anyway? See, now that the whole thing came out, See, NJ got to talk to my little sister right here. Because why did you run anyway? I don't know why you ran. I don't know what was going on. But what I do know, look here, lady. Look here, little girl. Look here, uh, young lady. Please don't put no more of our rappers in danger. Please don't put no more of our black men in danger. Please don't put none of our black women in danger or nobody else in danger trying to save you. Because you running and dipping and dodging from the police when you were standing there just as calm at first anyway. Uh-uh. Don't put no none of them no more in danger. Don't you put nobody else in danger here. Yeah? Because see, what we finna do is sit your ass on the side of the dumpster and until you get your shit together. And if you don't get your shit together, we're going to throw your ass over in a damn dumpster. We done released you from the public, from the community. Because, see, you trying to get some mess started here. You trying to get our men messed up, our women messed up. We going to need for you to sit on the side of that dumpster until you get all your stuff in order. You need to register that old moped and you need to... Get your license or whatever it is that you needed that you didn't have to ride that damn moped. And then they said you had a list of summons. We don't know what that is, but I'm going to get to one of them in a minute. That NJ think probably was one of them summons that you had got. But anyway, how in the hell is you running with that slow ass moped anyway? I do not know. 
I do not. She gonna try to take off running with that slow ass moped. Just a slow ass turtle with gas in it. Where was you trying to go? And then y'all family, you seen that the front of the damn thing was high pitched, loud, yellow. Where was you trying to go anyway if you run? You weren't finna outrun no police with that slow ass moped. Then it's yellow too. What kind of curves and dips you was going to hit? What kind of alleyways was you going to try to get up in? They were still going to see your loud ass. What you had on a loud ass shirt. Look like it was orange or something. Then the moped is yellow as hell. Look like a bright ass traffic light. Where was you trying to go anyway? You wasn't going to get too far. Everybody would have seen you no matter what damn corner you would have tried to hit. And we don't want to see your ass on that another damn ground now here looking like Harriet Tubman home, girl. You better not get back on nobody ground like that. And you ain't got all your stuff together and all that. Uh-uh, we ain't with that slow ass moped like those police wasn't going to catch you. You better be glad you were not my, my daughter anyway. I'm telling you, with that old janky ass moped. Because, see, if you was my daughter, I'd make you go right up there to Styles P and Jada Kiss little smoothie shop and apologize. Now, I don't know if you apologize yet or not. I ain't, I didn't hear Style P said you apologize, and I ain't seen no type of post or nothing where you came on to apologize. Now, maybe you did, and if you did, I take it all back. But if you didn't, your ass need to go up there right now and apologize to Styles P and tell him thank you. Apologize for running for one thing. That's what I'm talking about, apologizing, because, see, your ass ran and started all this damn shit. And, but anyway, then you need to say thank you for saving that ass on the ground looking like Harriet Tubman home, girl. You know you would have been in trouble if he hadn't came out there. Uh-huh, yeah, uh, see, you better be glad you ain't my daughter, because I would make you go up there to that smoothie shop, then... I would say, hey, she going to work for y'all for a whole month for free. Uh-huh, so you're going to be doing your Uber Eats, and then when you get off of Uber Eats, your ass is going to be going up there, and you're going to bust their tables, wash their dishes, clean their glasses, clean their straws if they need it, sanitize everything. I mop their floors, sweep the outside of the building. You gonna be doing all that for a flat ass month for free. Yes, uh-huh, because he saved that ass, uh-huh, to be. Yeah, he did. He saved that ass. Your ass would be working for him for a whole damn month if you were mine. Uh, I don't give a damn if you're 28, 27, 30. I don't give a damn because that's my son right there. I'd be like, now, you know you need to go up there and work for those folks for free, yeah, for at least a month because your damn show ain't got no money to pay for him. Evidently, you ain't got no money to pay for him. You ain't got no damn registration on the damn janky ass scooter boot whatever the hell that was you was driving you ain't got no license you got all kind of summons so we know you ain't got the money so yeah you're gonna have to go up there and work for damn free uh-huh i'm gonna need your ass to apologize real quick fast and in a damn hairy uh-huh trying to run on that damn slow ass janky ass moped ain't that some shit you just done made us all look bad. Yeah, I'm getting on your butt. Yes, I am. Are we throwing you away? No, we ain't throwing you away, sister. But we damn sure sitting you by that damn dumpster. And you gonna get your shit together. Better yet, go in my tutor section and you will see you can get you a career. I got about 10 or 12 different careers that you can learn for free. That's what it's for to better our youngsters out here. And get yourself a career, and you ain't even got to get on that damn moped no more. Matter of fact, you'll be able to buy a moped and just give it away for Christmas to some damn body while you making some real big loot. So get your ass in there and learn something. That's what you do. I'm so tired of seeing y'all running from these polices and stuff. And I, I'm t I don't know what's wrong. Y'all so hard-headed for one thing. Hard-headed. That just didn't look ladylike, girl. It sure didn't. It sure didn't. Talking about some damn Uber Eats. And then I said, and then you're going to run from the police. And you couldn't even get the damn thing to go. You got it and trying to run with it. I said, look at this bootleg Uber Eats driver right here. Look at this shit right here. Lord have mercy. Now, youngsters, y'all stop running from these police. Him, 
Just go. If you ain't got what they ask for, just say, I ain't got it. Give me a ticket or take me to jail. And I try to work my way out of jail. I try to get bond out of jail or whatever. But we need everybody to keep their lives. Because y'all playing Russian roulette with your life. Running from the police. Talking crazy to the police. Trying to fight the police. And all that right there. Because you see right now that they putting a hammer down on y'all ass. They putting a hammer down on these mopeds. It look like they putting a hammer down on y'all ride mopeds. They putting a hammer down on these rappers. They putting a hammer down on these gangs. They putting a hammer down on y'all out here in the street. They putting a hammer down on y'all ass. Y'all better wake up. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Now, girl, they said on the news that you had a numerous of summons. That's what I want to get to right there. They said you had a numerous of summons. Now, was one of them damn summons for that booted juice, dirty feet smelling ass weed? That's what I want to know. Because you know we talked about this last week, family, about how loud that weed is. Did you have one of them old funky blunts in your damn backpack you were carrying around there with your who would eat? Uh-huh. Mocha, they said she had a numerous of she got wrote a numerous of summons. Was one of them summon, summons that old stinky blunt? I'm just asking. I want to know. Was one of those summons that stinky booty juice ass blunt smelling? Or was you smelling like a walking blunt? Uh-huh. Smoking on that musty blunt. Is that what one of your summons was? I want to know. Uh-huh. Most likely it, it, one of them damn summons is that too. Uh huh. They got to searching around there and found that musty shit. Uh huh. But anyway, y'all, stop running from the police here, please do, cause y'all not. Go it's not turning out right for nobody. And look here, chick, stop being a pick me bitch. Everybody wants to run from the police, smoking weed loud and all. Let police get behind you. Running from the police ain't doing nothing. That's a pick-me bitch. Now, we always tell women, don't be a pick-me bitch for trifling-ass men. That means for the police, too. Don't be no pick-me bitch for the police. You right now running from the police. Well, you might as well have hand your hands up to my pick-me, pick-me. I want to be arrested today. Pick-me, pick-me. I want to go to jail today. Pick me, bitch, for the police. We gonna need you to get a hell of a lot better, girl. Get yourself together quick, fast, in the hurry, and get in my tutor section. That's all I got to say, because we damn sure do not want to see you on nobody else's ground looking like you fighting to get to the Underground Railroad. That's all I got to say about her. Now, Sesame. Let's get on the Sesame place. Uh-huh. Trying to act funny with little black kids. Uh-huh. That's what they got. And that's what we see, too. So, family, I'm finna let y'all see that, too. Because I ain't too enthused with Sesame right now. Now, what it is is this uh, mother took her uh, daughter, young daughter. I'm finna let y'all see it. Took her young daughter and her niece to Sesame theme park. Now, they got one of these uh, parks in Philadelphia, and one is in San Diego, California, okay? So, I looked it up. I didn't see but, like, two states that they're in. Could be in more. I don't know. I ain't never heard of no Sesame Street or Sesame Place or whatever, but they associated, look like, with Sesame, Sesame Street because they got all the Sesame Street characters. There's a lot of people that say, no, they not affiliated with Sesame Street. The hell you say? Because they got all Sesame Street characters in it. And you cannot be using Sesame Street characters without getting approval from Sesame Street or without pay, paying some type of commission to Sesame Street. I don't give a damn what you say. Some, some type of money is going flowing from one to the other because they're using all basically all they damn characters in this damn sesame place okay now the mother took her daughter and niece up here and so the character i don't know what kind of character it was y'all gonna see it or whatever but the character go by and shake everybody's hand and then when he get to the little black girl 
talking about uh 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 you know waving her hand like uh 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 i don't want food with you or whatever right so now the mother got mad and the mother put it on social media about look how he fan it or he or she or whoever in that damn stinking ass costume, okay? Look how they fanning off my kid like they don't want to be bothered with my daughter and my niece, okay? So she posted it and said, look at him right here. So everybody did get kind of upset about this thing, okay? Now, Sesame Place going to come out and try to do an old fake ass apology. I said, I didn't like it. I, I, I didn't take that apology at all because I don't know. I'm going to let y'all see y'all that. But anyway, then... More videos start coming out of them treating little black children badly. Like, don't want to be bothered with them. Bypass them, move from them, uh, knock them out the way, and all that kind of stuff like that. So, let's get into Sesame Place, family. And let me let y'all see Sesame, Sesame Seed Bonds. Uh, Sesame Seed Prejudice Place. Sesame Seed A Holes. Sesame Seed. I ain't feeling Sesame Seed, family. I really ain't. I ain't feeling Sesame Seed. So, let me show y'all Sesame Place, okay? Now, I advise these parents here. Keep y'all kids from this place, because obviously these folks don't want to be bothered with the little, low uh, black little, uh, kid, kids here. They don't feel like being bothered with y'all. They really don't. So why is y'all going up in there anyway? Knowing these folks don't want y'all up in their place, here. Now, anyway, this is Sesame family, and, um... They are mistreating black children up in their little establishment. Okay? And they say it costs about $40. I'm finna let y'all see it. And these are the two little girls here. Okay? Now, they say, now that's that little character I'm talking about. That little old uh, green monkey character there. But anyway, uh, they say it take about Forty dollars a person to get up in this uh, doggone place, family. Yeah, they say it's about forty dollars to get up in here, and these black parents are spending money for them and their children to sesame sesame place, and this how they being treated. So if you got a family of five, that's forty dollars times five. Uh-huh, and they didn't say nothing about no discount for kids. They was just saying, like, allegedly, it's $40 to get in there for everybody. Okay, now, check this out, family. Uh-huh, check this out. Now, look how she, they got the hair now, uh-uh. Look at, now, look how he, he clapping everybody's hand that's white. Look at that. And then get to them and say, uh-uh, nah-uh, not today. Not today. I don't play with your kind. Look at that. Tell my uh uh, not today. I don't play with your kind. Uh huh. Now, this is what I can't understand. These characters doing these little kids like this. Now, the mother was furious about this. Uh huh. Now, that's, that's the video. That the mother posted to show how this character was giving everybody a high five, giving all the white kids that's down through that same line, giving them high fives and, and hugging them and all this stuff like this. Even that white lady was standing right by those kids. Now, first of all, that's a kid place. The adults can wait. This character here could have not even slapped hands with the white lady and went on and slapped hands and gave the little black two little girls high five. Because look here, when you as a sesame, okay, let the kids have their time and their fun. They really don't have to do all this hugging and high fiving to grown ups. 
because the park is for little kids. Anyway, you know, so this is the video that got everybody stirred up and everybody was cutting up. Everybody wrote to Sesame Place and cutting up, okay? And so, check this out, family. One more time. Look at him. Uh-uh, uh-uh, not y'all, not today, not today. I don't do y'all kind, little girl. I don't, well, uh-uh, well, uh-uh, no, I can't do this. Uh-uh, now, y'all gonna have to go on, baby. I can't fool with y'all today. Uh-uh. And, that, and that's so damn disrespectful right there. This is so damn disrespectful. And look at the little girl face. The little girl face is looking so terrible. Now, these sesame people, that's their apology. I'm not reading that because it was a half-ass apology, okay? So I ain't reading that. But they sent out a half-ass apology saying that, you know, uh, they saw, uh, they didn't say they were sorry. They say, uh, basically like they didn't do anything wrong. That they care to sometimes can't see uh, little kids that's uh, at the bottom because the characters are so tall or whatever. And, you know, um, but it wasn't done intentionally and all that, okay? So now, after they put out this uh half apology right then look at this family then it comes out that once this mother here complained about how that character just did those two little kids then it was more parents putting up videos about how those characters treated their black kids, their black sons, and their black daughters. So, this is no longer, uh, you know, like just a incident that happened that didn't mean to happen or it's an isolated issue. No, we see now this is intentionally done to little black girls and little black boys that comes to this Sesame Park. And that's what I'm finna show y'all right now. But parents, y'all need to keep y'all damn money in y'all damn pocket. Because when I was seeing some of this, I said this is totally, totally, utterly disturbing and disrespectful. Now check this out because these are more videos that came out after the mother put up that that I just showed y'all of him waving those or uh, she waving those two black kids and then other parents from all over the United States were saying, yeah, they did mine like that too, see? Yeah, they did mine like that too, see? So check this out, family. Look at how they do this little boy here. Now look at it. Same old character. Don't know if it's the same person inside this suit. But check it out. Walk right past that little boy. And look how little boy like, man, I wanted to check it out again. See how that character go to everybody else. He going to go to FC, going down the line to all the other kids. Look at that. All the other kids. And then did a cursing. Got down on his knees. But when it came to that little boy, I ain't going to be able to do it. Uh-uh. I don't like your kind. Uh-uh, I, I, uh, uh, no, uh, uh, see, if I slap your hand, my suit might get tainted. Uh-huh, that's the mindset of some of these type of people. Now, look at this one. Look at this little black girl. Same character. Look at that. Look how he hugged that one. Hugged that little white girl and then went right past the little black girl. Little black girl got her hands out. Look at that. Black girl got her hands out, walked clean past. Went, went over there and hugged everybody else by this little black girl. And then walked clean past this little black girl. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Look at him. Look at him. And then, uh-uh. And then moved it on. Uh-huh. And then, check it out, family. I think I'm playing one more time. Check out how after he passed or she passed the little girl and little girl still had her hand out, that character kind of moved his arm like closer to him. Like, uh-uh, don't touch me. I'm telling you, parent, y'all need to keep y'all money in y'all pocket. 
Stop taking y'all children to this type of park right here, okay? Now, they showing y'all ass a warning that they don't want to be bothered with you or your damn kids at this old mistreated, prejudiced-ass park. Uh-huh. Got me heated as hell over here. Anyway, let me tell you something. Now, these people done throw out this half-ass apology, which they really... It, it, I mean, they really could have kept that because they still didn't even apologize. Not the first time. This first statement they put out, they were just saying, oh, no, our characters just, uh, they don't see him. They don't intentionally do that. Then had the nerve to say they not allowed to uh, touch people and stuff like that. What the hell you say? They say so they're not allowed to hug. That's what they say. They're not allowed to hug people and all that. But then I seen these characters hugging kids, white kids, the whole time on a lot of these videos. So then somebody lying somewhere. That's why I said that first statement. I didn't even feel like reading it to y'all because it's half at they playing in our face what they doing. That's exactly what they doing, okay? Now, it's obviously that a lot of these characters do not like little black kids because they skip all over the black kids on all different occasions. Now, y'all have to understand, this is not the same day. These are just parents that when they saw that first video come out that that mother wrote, then it's other family members that start sending in their videos of different times that they have went and got the same type treatment coming from these characters at this sesame park. Okay? Now, point blank period. Okay? Now, we have so many incidents of this. This is not no isolated situation. It's numerous of characters doing this, and y'all are going to see this in a minute, you know? And it seems like they only want to service white children and other races of children, not black children. So keep y'all damn money in y'all pocket, and don't be going to the sesame place. Because I asked my son, you know, I got four uh, grand girls, and I asked my son, hey... Uh, have you ever took the kids to Sesame? I know it hadn't because they would have told me or they would have offered me to go to or whatever. And he said, Sesame? No, the girls ain't never said nothing about no Sesame place. I said, good. Because maybe they done seen through TV that some shit ain't right with these folks here. Because he said, they don't say nothing about no Sesame place. And I got one that's uh two years old. So, she should be saying something about sesame. She ain't saying shit about no sesame. So evidently, they done seen something somewhere that they didn't really like a one two king going. And I'm glad, too, because they damn sure won't be going. And I done talked to my son already. Now, check this out. Now, check out what I said, how he moved his hand away from this little girl here. Look at that. Right there. Now, this is another one, family. And I don't have no sound to it because they had a lot of music, copyright music playing. And I just didn't want to take the chance. So check this out. Now see how the mama get that mama that mad. She, she's saying something to her husband. And on the video, she was saying like, they just keep bypassing us. So then the husband tell her to go stand on the other side. He said, no, she said, no, I'm not going to stand on the other side. I'm not going to stand on the other side because th they've been doing this. They've been doing this, and they, they keep bypassing, you know, my daughter, but hugging everybody else. See? She trying to look, look, look at that little girl. Little girl, happy. she don't even know what's going on. But her mama do and her daddy do. Okay? So this is what I'm saying. This is slap disgusting. And disappointing. It really is. It really is. You mean tell me y'all doing these to little kids? Y'all treating little kids prejudice? Y'all doing uh, come on now. And I know it don't matter uh if you're little or big. If you're black, a lot of people just have it in them that they don't like. Now check this out. See how that little boy say, What the hell? 
See, the look, and look, he look like he want to cry. He look like he want to cry. Check it out again. Look at Big Bird. See, there's a whole nother character here. It was a whole nother character to, right before this. Look at, he said, why, why he won't shake my hand? What did I do? And now he looking like he want to cry. And in that video, his parents tell him, oh, it's, it's all right. Don't worry about it because he really was looking like he wanted to cry. Now, check out this one, family. I want y'all to check out this one right here. Okay? Now, check this out. This Bert and Ernie or whatever. Check how. Look how he's clapping to everybody. And y'all see him slap the little black girl. Now, y'all probably ain't see that. But check it out again. But you see how the little girl, you see how this little black girl right here is looking at her parents like, I can't even believe that this character just slapped me. Like, shook everybody's hand and got to me and then hit her in the face. Check it out, family. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. This old Sesame Street place. Check it out. Look closely. He's going to get right to her. Bye. And she looks at her parent like, what the hell? Did y'all see that? That's how she looking. She looking like, what the hell? You know? And shout out to uh, Nick at Night. Nick, Nick at Night for having this and the Pastel Show and all of them. Because a lot of these people put up different things of this event. They really did. Check this right here out, family. Check this right here out. That's it again. Look how, look how you slapped that girl. That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. Now, let me show you this right here. Let, let, let me show y'all this right here. Check this out. Check this out, family. That's when he slaps that little that girl there. Now check out this one, how this kid here got the hand out and he said, uh-uh, and walked right on past. Now check out how this one do the little black girl. Look at her, knock her clean down. Then look at that one. He wouldn't even shake that one hand. Now, the head, head go where you hit that girl in the face. Check it out real closely, family. Bow. Right in the face. So, see, and then this is where he's shaking everybody's hand, get to the little black girl. Uh-uh. So, all of these are different characters, different situations, and everything. Look at it. Knock her clean down. He meant to do that shit. Look at that one. Won't even wave at it. Won't even shake her hand. So, that's what I'm saying, family. That this is getting, this is out of control. It really is. It really is. Now, now check this one here out. Let me see. I got another one for y'all. Because this is, I was tripping. I really was tripping. I was really tripping. Check this one out. This is a whole nother one. Check this one out, family. Wait a minute. Because I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm tripping off all this stuff right here. Check out how they do this one right here. Look at how she trying to get him to reach. He said, uh-uh. But then look how he grabbed the other little girl. So check that out one more time. Check it out, family. This is another one. See, all these are different incidents, and I want y'all to see it, because some people be like, oh, no, that didn't, uh-uh. It's happening too many times. These are all parents who sent in the video. Look at that. Walk right past that child. Look, that child got her hands out. Uh-uh, don't want to do it, but watch him hug the white girl. See that? Now, that's messed up. That's messed up. Now they going now Sesame ain't gonna stop playing in our face. And they're gonna stop treating our little kids like that. They're gonna stop treating. Look at this right here, family. Look at that. There go that old stinking ass character again. But it's just happening too much. 
Check this out. See how he just didn't even go over there? Like, uh-uh, no. Uh-uh, I ain't gonna fool with you. Uh-uh, I ain't. And see? Uh-uh. Now, see, this just, it's just too much, family. It's just too much, really. It really is. And I just had to show everybody that because that really didn't make no sense at all. You know? And I just feel like that's so embarrassing to do that. It really is. It really is. That is so doggone embarrassing. Really embarrassing. And so that's what I wanted to show y'all about Sesame Place. Okay? Because Sesame Place is showing mistreatment of little black children at their theme park. And like I said, it's one in Philly, Philadelphia, and it's one in San Diego, California. Okay? So, children and their parents, you know, um, don't let your kids be treated like this. Okay? And like, when all of these videos start surfing after the first mother put those out, family, then Sesame Street came out with that half apology. When they came out with that half apology, it still didn't stop the people from emailing and saying, that ain't, that, I mean, they didn't even apologize. They just came out with a statement the first time saying, oh, well, our characters can't see that low. Oh, our character's not allowed to hug people. But you clearly see that all that's a lie. But people didn't even go for that anyway because they were still emailing their corporate, still putting posts up, famous people, everybody. Anybody who had social media, a lot of people was talking about this story. YouTubers, as myself. Pushing this story out. There's a whole lot of YouTubers uh, that put this out before I I did, you know. But, like I said, shout out to Neek at Night and that uh, Pastel, Pastel show. But they was all putting it out. It's a lot of YouTubers that was pushing this story out. Famous people was pushing this story out. Uh, ben Crump, uh, he had said something on his social media all kind of famous people was talking and the heat came down on Sesame Place. And that's when they uh, came out with a second statement saying that we're going to do some training and we're going to conduct training and all that. And then they came out with a third one. And the third one is when they apologized to the family. Because everybody was saying, they told them on the first statement, we don't want to hear none of that. You still didn't apologize to the family, and y'all ain't admitting no wrongdoing. Then they came out with a second one saying, oh, we're going to do some bias training for the family, for our, you know, employees or whatever. We didn't want to hear that either. Everybody was still cutting up, so you still ain't apologize to the family. They ain't got nothing to do that. Then the third, they put out a third one because they saw that the heat wasn't letting up. Then that's when they put out a third statement trying to apologize to a fam to the family, all the families. But it looked like it's kind of too late now, family, because, see, the, the mother of that little girl and uh, the, the two little girls at the beginning, she done lawyered up, family. She done lawyered up. And I don't know if they finna make this a class action lawsuit where all those parents that were sitting in tapes gonna join in, but... Uh, word is that this this here mother have lawyered up already, so uh, it ain't looking too good for the Sesame Prejudice Place, okay? Now, okay, now, NJ don't give a damn about Sesame Place or the Boulevard they sit their ass on, okay? No, no shit don't, okay? Really don't. Now, y'all ain't gonna be playing in our kids' face. See, a lot of people think that we're playing out here about our children, and we not, 
okay? And you know, you can try to be prejudiced to the grown-ups all day long, but when it comes to the children, that's something that we ain't playing. I don't know where, uh, uh, did this ain't, did this ain't back there in the 1700, 1800. We ain't playing that. It is not finna do all that in our kids' face. Now, is our kids going to, or our little black kids, going to face racism through in the future or through their lifetime? Probably yes and probably no. Are our kids going to, you know, have to face discrimination and all that stuff like that? Maybe yes and maybe no. But one damn thing we ain't going to do is pay for somebody to be racist to us. Hell to the now. You think I'm going to pay you to have racism against me? So you think I'm going to give you $40 to get into your park? I'm paying you. And then you be prejudiced to me. Uh-uh. That's one thing we ain't going to do is pay nobody to be prejudiced to us. Oh, hell no. Keep the kids out this park, huh? Because if anything happened to your kid, you take your kid. I know it's going to be some hard-headed, black-ass parents. They're going to take their kids up here anyway. But I'm telling you right now, people, you just never know. Because if something happened to your kids in these parks, in that type of park right there, then they ain't going to do nothing but send you a half ass apology about whatever happened to your kid. Okay? Because they clearly said uh, about three different half ass apologies uh, on just this incident right here. So think about if something happened to your kid inside that park. What kind of half ass apology you gonna get? Uh huh. Keep your kids out, out prejudiced places like that now, here. Yeah? Because I'm gonna tell you right now, when you see it, they're giving you a warning. They're giving you a warning and just showing you plain out, period. They're showing you plain the day. They don't wanna be bothered with your little nick nick kids, okay? They don't wanna be bothered with them. So, only thing, best thing for you to do is keep your kids out that park, here. Yeah? Because something like that can't be trusted. Who trusts somebody who has been prejudiced to them? You can't eat nothing from them. You can't go nowhere with them. You can't trust them. None of that. None of that. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Come on now. And then they're going to send out a thing talking about, well, we're going to train our workers so that they can be more people friendly to family and guests. No, you're going to train your people to be more friendly to black families and black guests. Come on, see, that's what I'm talking about, about playing in our face. That's what I'm talking about, about playing in our face. Come on. Tell, write the statement right. I'm talking about uh, we're going to teach our and train our staff and our employees to have better communications and stuff with all families and all guests. Y'all ain't being prejudiced to all families and all guests. Y'all being prejudiced and showing prejudice to black families and black guests and black church. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, see, that's what I'm talking about, playing in our face. I'm so tired of people just writing some shit like we supposed to just believe every goddamn thing we hear or we can't read between lines or we ain't smart or we ain't dumb. We seen that shit. I seen it and Jay seen it. Talking about that. Y'all ain't got no problem with accommodating y'all families and guests. We see that clearly. Y'all y'all accommodate real well to the white people and the other type nationality. We see that real clear. So y'all don't have no problem with communicating with your guests and the families that come there. You got a problem communicating and being respectful to the black children and black families. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. So let's call it like it is, you know. But they got a hell of a lot of emails and all that stuff getting on their ass about this right here. Uh, oh yeah, they did. You know. Yeah, yeah, they did. They really did. And that's wrong as hell. So black women, black men, uh, it's a lot of black women and black men out here all on social media. They degrading each other. They attacking each other. Black men attacking black women. Black Some black women attacking uh, 
black men and some black men are attacking and degrading all on social media, just talking about each other and disregarding what's going on with our kids. We got a lot of black women and a lot of black men that is going at each other on social media and going at each other out here on these streets and dogging each other out and treating each other like shit and all that just acting a straight donkey to each other and forgetting about how our kids are being treated or how our kids are being raised or what our kids are going through out here in these streets because that shows right there that black women and black men are so distracted with messing with each other and dogging each other till they don't even see this. Because I'm clearly, it's clearly obvious that this right here been going on a long ass time. It's been going on a long ass time. This ain't just started. Mm -mm. This ain't just started because it don't look like it's a just started situation. Uh-uh. It really don't. They need to clean, clean that whole park out. Yeah, they need to clean it out. Who up under them suits anyway? Who up under them suits? Nine times out of ten, whoever up under that suit got a pruned face, got wrinkled all up, just just sure they look like a skinhead, a skinhead woman, a skinhead man. Nine times, who up under that? Or oh, old ass fart that was back in the damn 40s and 30s and shit. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. Who up under that costume anyway see what that park need to do is every costume when you first walk in they need to have the character and the person face beside the character who is in that costume uh-huh but ain't gonna do it like that because see, they don't want nobody to know who is doing it they still ain't told nobody who all those characters is uh-uh they ain't showed nobody face they ain't show no character faces at all. They ain't even said they suspended any of the characters. They ain't even said they terminated none of the characters. Talking about we gonna do, we gonna do some training. No, do some termination. Yeah, that's what you do. We gonna do some training. No, if you wanna do some T word, do termination. Yeah, if, if you wanna do some T word training, do some T word termination. That's what you do. Uh-huh. Nine times out of ten, if you take off those suits, it's somebody with a crooked-ass body, prune face, crooked-ass creatures and shit, ashy feet, droopy-ass face, looking like gremlins and shit. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, prune face-ass bitch up under that damn thing. Uh-huh. I'm telling you, skinheads up under there. Skinhead man, skinhead woman. Nine times out of ten, if you snatch those uh thing, them costumes up off of them, you see all all type of prejudice going on. Uh, you can just see it in the face. You can see it in the face. See, a lot of people don't know that we can see when a person is prejudiced. You don't even have to really say nothing. We can see when a person is prejudiced without that person even opening up their mouth. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Didn't know that, did you? Well, yeah, we can't. Uh-huh. But anyway, keep y'all kids out them damn parks. Here, find y'all another theme park that does not have this problem. And I ain't heard of no theme park really having this problem. This is the first one I heard that got problem with little kids, little black kids like this. Uh-uh. Y'all need to start your own. We need to start our own theme park and have the characters Diana Ross, have a character Michael Jackson, have characters of Lionel Richie, and have characters of some rappers and stuff. And they can take pictures of the rappers. The Rise is named after the rappers, and the Rise is named after some nice R&B stars and all that. You need to start your own theme park or go in the damn backyard and do something with your damn kids. But that right there is a no-go. Uh-uh. That's all I got to say about that. Gain knowledge to prevent blockage. And we all know what that means. The more you know, the harder it is for anybody to block y'all from your goals and success. Bye-bye.